Hey Libra, welcome to your monthly reading for July 2022. My name is Johanna. Welcome to Tenacious Soul. We're going to go through some general messages for you guys for the month. So take what resonates, leave the rest. You can always check out your sun, your moon, and your rising sign. Let's see, let's see, Libra. What is going on for Libra? Libra in July, please. We have Mars with force. We also have 11th house with friends. So some of you could have Mars in the 11th house. Uh, we also have Leo with I will. So there's Leo, Aries, Scorpio, and Aquarius energy here. Um, some of you have a lot of like determination or a lot of, um, there's a lot of like intensity to to move forward here. Oh, interesting. Um, I feel like there's, um, I don't know if some of you have like a pushy friend or if there's uh, people in your life, doesn't even have to be a friendship, but like people or, um, cause 11th house with Aquarian energy can be like our uh, communities and stuff like that, right? So it's like, do you have someone who's like, I don't know, I don't want to say pressuring you, but an intensity. It could also be just like a lot of passion as well between you and someone. But it feels like with this first house, which is Aries energy, which is in the reverse when I looked at it, it's almost like there's like a neglect or like a... Like someone, the example that I would have is like someone wanting you to do something that they want, but it's not really what you want to do. It's kind of like a peer pressure, right? Um, let's see. We have busy and distracted. And we have temptation. Hmm. Yeah, that could be a little bit of that energy too. Like, it's almost like something, somebody wanting you to do something or stepping into something that you either know you shouldn't or it's not good for you. Let's see. Libra. We have victory and success. And we have four of wands, which says achievement. So six of wands, four of wands. I feel like you're trying to achieve some sort of victory and success, but it's like something's distracting you. Something's tempting you. Something's distracting you. So whether that's a relationship or it feels like it has to do with a person, like people or a group of friends or maybe a social situation. Okay. It's like distracting you from what you're trying to achieve yourself. Because even with the Leo energy, that can be very self energy because of the sun. Okay. So it's, it feels like you're supposed to be focusing on you, but it's, something's distracting you. Let's see. Libra. We have the Page of Cups, Ace of Cups, Hermit, Knight of Wands, Tower, Five of Pentacles, Two of Pentacles, Temperance, Six of Wands. Yeah. Bottom of the deck, we have the, uh, I believe this is the, it's the Page of Swords. Yeah. We also have the Star and the Nine of Cups here. So. I do feel like you're trying to achieve something. You're trying to hit some sort of goal or wish fulfillment or like wanting some, some, of, some form of fulfillment, healing potentially as well. And I feel like you're kind of like on this like quest or you've been in this space. Now I do feel like you've kind of been going within. There could be love around you with this page of cups, ace of cups. But I kind of, I'm kind of seeing this, we'll see what it clarifies as, but I'm kind of seeing this as like, um, internal work, like opening up the heart space, childlike energy, like healing inner child. And then it's like, there's this shit in the middle. We got the Knight of Wands, the Tower and the Five of Pentacles. It's like something comes in and just totally distracts you and like throws you off Tower, Knight of Wands. And then with the Five of Pentacles, it's like it ju they just leave or it like it just kind of like they come in. <laughs> They fuck shit up and then they just leave. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like it's kind of like a weird, it's kind of a weird energy. So it's like someone just like 
someone or something just comes into your life and just like throws you off i think now with that being said we have the two of pentacles the temperance and we have the six of wands i feel like you're <laughs> i feel like you're gonna rebound from that um but i do feel like there's some form of, of like a distraction or something that just like really it's almost like a, a tower moment i think you could avoid it by like not engaging because it does feel like it's like some form of a temptation um it could be a person like a relationship yeah it's like making you want to take a risk we have past life relationship and then we have take a risk but then behind that we have regain balance okay so i do feel like you're gonna kind of reharmonize things after this tower moment but it's like a bull in a china shop type energy like it's just like comes out of nowhere almost let's see what this is about um we have the page of cups here what is this for libra we have the magician so some of you could be trying to manifest love um i do feel like there's like an ending okay but then there's like this new love i feel like you're maybe trying to manifest new love again like working on yourself maybe to manifest new love or just healing even why is this ace of cups here you're definitely gaining wisdom and knowledge from the experiences that i feel like you've gone through uh we have the page of wands It feels like you could maybe start communicating with a person or at least you're wanting to like you could be trying to again like i said like manifest a new person it feels new like you're trying to bring in new energy you're trying to walk a new path um but again you could just be exploring something you also could be exploring something creatively and like working on that and and trying to build up those skills with that magician energy why is the hermit here judgment definitely reflecting um i feel like some of you are going through kind of like a spiritual awakening yeah we have the death card so it's like definitely going through this like for some of you i'm getting this like a dark night of the soul type of energy i've never i don't think i've been through that um but i know people talk about it and so it kind of feels like there's just like this very deep pivotal moment kind of thing that's going on in your life and then there's <laughs> then there's this let's see what this is about I see the devil kind of peeking out here what's this knight of wands this feels like it could be something from your past that comes in and it's almost like it's a temptation for you to go back in an old pattern and so you can obviously choose to not do that um but it does feel like there's a little bit of that like temptation um the knight of wands we have the six of pentacles which always to me feels like breadcrumb energy especially those two of them combined yeah eight of wands Give me one more of this knight of wands here we have the king of pentacles we have the eight of pentacles again they may try to like give you something or offer you something but again i feel like they kind of like disrupt your energy what's this tower here knight of pentacles this is five of pentacles this also could be something impulsive that you do with your money okay so just be cautious of that um whether it's a person or a pattern it does feel like you're there's the potential to repeat something here i do really feel like you're trying to move forward um And I, I do feel like some of you are hesitant to this. What's, give me one more with this tower. Some of you might be like, I'm busy. I got things to do. I've, I'm trying to work on things. I got work. Ace of Pentacles. This person or this situation tries to offer you something. Could be like they're trying to offer you something stable. Like maybe they were a player in the past. They try to offer you something stable. It's like they're trying to come in out of the cold. Yeah, you're kind of reserved. And I, I feel like it's really asking you to reflect on this. Take your time, reflect on this. This feels like maybe the thing that you've walked away from. Um, give me one more on this. Yeah, five of pentacles, four of pentacles. I definitely don't see you like opening up fully. 
What's this? Two of Pentacles here for Libra. We have the Empress. Like, you could be kind of wondering, like, oh, could this grow into more? Like, it's almost like a... It feels like a promise or a... You have to decide. What's this Temperance? Yeah, we have the Fool. I do... You're, you're looking towards your f future... I'm, I'm really getting this like cautious type of energy and so I feel like if it's not that fact that you're gonna feel very cautious I almost feel like it's cautioning you to really decide if this is something you truly want to go back to because this is about your future and and commitment okay with the nine of pentacles behind that it's like some of you would like, you want to make sure that this person's going to commit to you. And I think it's about whether you are going to... Some of you have manifested this person back, and it's like whether you're going to give them a second chance. Clarify the Six of Wands. We have the Ace of Swords. So there is a victory here for you. Both of these cards talk about victory. And we have the Six of, six of Wands twice. Um, let me one more here. Yeah, two of wands. I think regardless, you're going to see things clearly. You're going to be able to make the decision that you need to make. Um, you are going to kind of, I think, again, you're going to be tempted. So you're going to, um, you are going to consider it, I feel. Or it's going to be heavily on your mind. But it's more of like, are we going to be able to grow? Because if you don't see this going anywhere, I think that that's kind of part of the issue. I, they might come in and say, oh, I want to work on things. I want to change. I'm, You know, or they give you some form of hope in what they say but I think it's almost like tr you trying to discern what is the truth um, with this person or this situation um, because it is tempting for you to go back to yeah nine of swords so like with this decision you're kind of like a little stressed here when it comes to um, whatever this is let's see final words here for Libra yeah there's that ace of pentacles here Again, so we have Ace of Pentacles, we have the King of Cups, Seven of Pentacles, Ten of Cups. Yeah, I think it's like whether this person is actually going to be able to invest emotionally as well into this future as well as practically. Um, we do have the Seven of Cups, so it's like trying to figure that out. And also what you want for your future. Is this what you want to invest into? Um, some of you definitely could end up with this person for sure. But I think for you, it's like trying to decide if this is like the truth. Let me ask that. Is this person being honest? Is this something they should consider? Is this something Libra should consider? We have the Knight of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles, and the Chariot. So take your time and let this person show you that they're serious. Like this is going to take some work, I feel, with the Eight of Pentacles and the Chariot. It's going to take some work to overcome some of the obstacles and barriers that maybe you guys have been through together um, in order for this. So it's like saying take things slowly. Um, this person kind of feels like they're going to rush, especially with that Mars energy. They're going to kind of rush and, and really want to just like move forward very quickly. Um, but I think there's some emotional things within this connection with the Five of Cups, the Moon, and the Lovers here. There's some emotional things that are getting in the way of you guys being able to like move forward really quickly. So it's like you guys have to work through those things first before you're able to like truly have the type of relationship that you're looking for. But I do feel like this is very much a consideration of like, is this something I should give a chance or not? So if this message is for you, this person's definitely going to take action towards you. Like I feel like this person's going to come in um, and they're going to be very like kind of like, it'll be with the tower there, it's going to be like very in your face. This is not something that you'll be questioning. Like this person will definitely come in. Um, you're going to be questioning whether you give them a chance or not or if this is something you can even work through, okay? Because it does feel like they're coming in and saying that they can put more effort or want to put more effort or fix the situation or whatever. But again, it's like more about like what you want and for your future and what you can see for your future with regards to this connection. So that is what I have for you, Libra. Hopefully that resonates. Uh, let me know down below. Sorry if the dog's barking. <laughs> um, but I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of July and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.